Once again, New York City, it's your sister, Professor Shah Asia Mecca Muhammad. This is part two of a statement to Dr. Dennis Muhammad and the Peacekeepers Global Initiative. For the record, I never worked for the Peacekeepers. I was never employed by uh, employment at will. I never signed an employment contract. I never received one document on the Peacekeepers Global Initiative letter heads. I had one email, excuse me, two emails for Dr. Dennis Muhammad, and neither one was ethical because neither one encompassed his legal name. Now, I don't know what kind of unethical organization the Peacekeepers is running, but for the record, Dr. Dennis Muhammad discriminated against me, he subjugated me, and he attempted to embarrass me on a text message chain today to some of his membership by stating in part, and I'll paraphrase, oh, well, the sister who posted some pictures, I had posted pictures of myself this morning, Wearing the Peacekeeper shirt backwards. And it, on the front, it said, Black Mothers on Duty. Because I wouldn't wear it with the I am present for peace. I was like, no, I ain't like that. He made that statement to them. You think he would have the decency to be a professional and write me with regard to this made-up position that he made for me that never was legally a position no, he didn't do that. He, he, he used his power on his cell phone. Disrespectful. Now, for the record, I contacted you, Dr. Dennis Muhammad, in August of 2022 and told you I had an epiphany. I want to make a documentary based on the interview I did with you on Hollis Avenue. Go look it up, y'all. It's, it's online. I never asked to be no executive in the peacekeepers and all of that. That day I did that interview, you said, oh, I want you to be the official photographer for the peacekeepers. That never happened. I'm the chairwoman, sole owner and sole founder of Children of the Most High God Youth Organization and over 150 other women's and youth organizations. I don't need to be your, what is it? International director of public relations. That position made no sense, and you never sent me anything in writing. So, therefore, I never worked for you. Never. I assisted you because I thought you were an honorable, reputable brother. I didn't know you were going to try and disrespect me the way you did on that conference call. And a conference call in 2023, you should be doing Zoom with your members. And when I was on that conference call several months ago, I listened. I was like, what kind of? Uh-uh. Your membership paying dues. Your 501c, that don't add up. No, it really doesn't. How you making your members pay dues and your 501c and then you need money for emergencies and you're taking donations from your membership to a cash app card, a Captain D card or something like that. The same card when you're on social media, you're like, hey, I'm on the love offering. Send me money to this card. You talk to someone at the National Association of Black Accountants. Those are the ones we dealt with during Million Man March when I ran the office. The National Association of Black Accountants, and they will tell you that's unethical for you to get personal money on a cash app card and then go online with your membership for the peacekeepers and tell them to send you money on that same card. No. You should be doing wire transfers to a bank account, not cash app. I was like, I was shocked after that conference call with what I heard. I was like, this is so unethical and so illegal. I wrote you that night and said, you need a code of ethics. Think you're going to listen to me? No, you're going to do what you want to do. Do whatever you want to do. But I'm going to tell you right now, you will never, ever bring my name down because you, with the peacekeepers, Dr. Dennis Muhammad, Erica Ford, with Life Camp Inc., Todd Lance with King of Kings Foundation, Y'all all after me. I got seniority. I ran the Million Man March office. And before that, my family were leaders on 118th Avenue and 169th Street. And Brother Nelson Muhammad used to come through to the branches house with the final call. I ain't just learned about the Nation of Islam. Whatever you taught, that's wonderful. But you're disrespectful. And you don't know how to treat women. And Minister Farrakhan and the Nation of Islam in Chicago, they should know what you tried to do to me and how you tried to bring me down. A sister with a bachelor's degree and a master's degree who reached out to you to help you.
it's all good because you can never stop my flow. And you want to get Dougie Fresh and 2 chains to do certain things. Are you kidding me? I'm a founder of Fly Girl and B-Girl Music. You can get any of them recording artists that you like. They will never rhyme better than me. And you never want to give a woman credit. You held up the men in the conference call. Oh, good job, brother. But me, you say, oh, Sister Eva. Sister Eva? I am Professor Eva Marie King. I am Professor Shah Asia Mecca Muhammad. That's my righteous name. And God bless him. May he forever rest in peace. Dr. Abdul Hafiz Muhammad addressed me as Sister Eva Muhammad. And here you are disrespecting me on a text message. You should be ashamed of yourself. In closing, Dr. Dennis Muhammad. Mr. Muhammad did not raise me up to make me a foolish woman. I don't fear you and anything that you're doing with the peacekeepers. And my girls and women at Black Girls and Women International Coalition will not bend down to brothers like you who subjugate women and hold up men. And you are a nation of Islam? How dare you try and bring me down? You are misleading your membership and you are lying to them because I never work for you. You can never terminate me ever. I have more education than you do. God bless you. Perhaps you have an honorary degree and I hope you use it. But I would never address you as captain in the peacekeepers because it's not a military operation. And you can't use the peacekeepers to recruit people for the nation of Islam. It's ridiculous. We out here. I'm about to go in the studio and record. And nothing you can do will ever stop me. In closing... Mr. Muhammad did not raise me up to make me a foolish woman, Dr. Dennis Muhammad. You better recognize we out here. Protect black girls and black women from black men who's supposed to know and still don't. And you want it to be a competition between me and you? We can sit on a panel any day and I will debate you of this subject and I will destroy you. I don't care how long you've been studying because I'm 100% right. You try to put a woman down to make yourself look good. Oh, you know, the sister's not with us no more. Like, you're a boss. You're not my boss. We out here. Anybody want to contact me? I am on social media. I am Professor Shaasia Mecca Muhammad. We out. Keep your head up, girls and women. Don't let men like this who are discriminatory, chauvinist, and want to subjugate women, don't let them turn you call me 929-622-9105 i'll assist you the peacekeepers global initiative discriminating against women you need to change all of that brother change it fast i'm out i am your sister i am professor shah asia mecca muhammad